So, do you know nowadays there is a very hot topic in society? Yes, of course, poverty. In that sense, Islam does not want its people to be poor. Islam is very concerned about the welfare of its people. Now, let's take a look on how we can prevent ourselves from poverty. First of all, we need to know what is the cause of poverty. There are many factors that cause poverty such as low education levels, limited employment opportunities, the burden of family life, laziness to work, and many more. So, how we can overcome from a spreading poverty in Islamic perspective? First way is to motivate someone to work according to their skills and abilities. Rasulullah SAW always motivates his friends who are trapped in poverty to always work hard, whatever the work, as long as it doesn't beg. In his daily life, Rasulullah SAW herded goats and traded Shahida Khadija's property to make ends meet. The next step is encouraging economic projects among Muslims. But why we use this step? Huh? Rasulullah also recommends someone who does not have the initial capital to cooperate with other people. For example, if there are people who do not own land, then they can work on other people's land with a profit sharing system. Now, let's proceed to another step. Ah, this step is really crucial for all people in this world, which is managing finance well. Why this step is really important? Because we need to manage our financial very well. If not, we may experience poverty. For example, we can buy things that are neither not our desire. Or if we have extra money, we can do investment so that in the future, we can earn more return. Haha, here's the last step on how to overcome for experience poverty in Islamic perspective. The step is multiply alms. In Islam, alms will not impoverish a person but will give him more sustenance. Many people think charity can reduce their money but actually it doesn't work. How? Ah, for example, Ustaz Abilu gave a lot of charity to people in need but he did not even experience poverty until now. To be summed up, we hope that all the steps on how to overcome from experiencing poverty in Islamic perspective can give us more benefit and we can practice it in our life. So, thank you. Bye-bye.